The universe is a vast, mysterious place, full of wonders beyond our wildest imaginations. It's a place where stars are born and galaxies collide, where black holes devour entire planets and comets streak through the night sky. And just when we think we've seen it all, something new appears, something that challenges our understanding of the cosmos and pushes the boundaries of what we thought was possible. That's exactly what happened when a team of astronomers used the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, to discover a new galaxy far away in the depths of space. This galaxy, known only as Jade's GS plus 53, 15508278017, for simplicity, let's refer to this galaxy as Jade's throughout this video. Jade's was found at a high redshift and has a relatively low mass. But what really sets it apart is that it's a quiescent galaxy, a galaxy that shows little sign of ongoing star formation, even at high redshifts. In this video, we will delve into the awe-inspiring discovery of this new quiescent galaxy. But before we continue, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards our channel's supporters. Your generous support allows us to continue bringing you informative and quality content. We truly appreciate your contribution. Thank you so much for being a part of our community and for supporting our work. In the vast expanse of the universe, there are billions of galaxies, each with its own unique features and properties. But among them, there's a peculiar type of galaxy that scientists call quiescent galaxies. Even at high redshifts, it is known that quiescent galaxies show few or no signs of new stars being made. They are physically compact and have low masses compared to other types of galaxies. The first quiescent galaxy was discovered in the 1970s, but it wasn't until the early 2000s that astronomers started to study them in depth. Since then, researchers have identified hundreds of these mysterious galaxies, and they have become a subject of great interest among astronomers. One reason for this is that quiescent galaxies are thought to be some of the oldest and most distant galaxies in the universe. By studying them, scientists hope to gain insight into the early stages of the universe and how galaxies formed and evolved over time but there's still much we don't know about these enigmatic objects. And that's where new discoveries like the one made using the James Webb Space Telescope come in. In February 2021, an international team of astronomers announced that they had discovered a new quiescent galaxy using the JWST. This galaxy, known as Jade's, was found at a high redshift of 7.3, meaning it existed when the universe was only 700 million years old. The quiescent galaxy, Jades, was first identified in 2010 as a Lyman break galaxy. A Lyman break is a phenomenon in astronomy that happens when light from a distant galaxy passes through a region of space containing hydrogen gas. The gas absorbs the light at specific wavelengths, creating a break in the galaxy's spectrum. This technique is used by astronomers to identify and study galaxies at extreme distances, helping us learn more about the early universe. It's like a cosmic fingerprint that helps us unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. However, the new NERCAM data indicate that Jade's is a quiescent galaxy that experienced a short and intense burst of star formation, followed by rapid quenching, about 10 to 20 million years ago. In particular, the study found that the star formation rate, SFR of Jade's, increased significantly about 80 million years ago. After this final burst, lasting about 50 million years, the galaxy quenched on a short time scale. The results also showed that Jade's exhibits a complete absence of nebular emission lines, while the Balmer break and Lyman alpha drop are unambiguously detected. These findings confirm that Jade's is a post-starburst galaxy that has recently stopped forming stars. When it comes to the morphology of Jade's, it appears to be a compact disk galaxy with a half-light radius of some 650 light-years. The images also show a distinct faint source to the east of Jade's, at a distance of approximately 2,300 light-years from the center of the galaxy. The nature of this source is unknown. However, the astronomers assume that it may be a clump or a satellite galaxy. Summing up the results, the authors of the paper noted that their discovery proves how important JWST is for the detection and studies of high-redshift quiescent galaxies. 
The discovery by the team of a quiescent galaxy at redshift Z equals sign 7. Three ushers in an era in which we can constrain theoretical feedback models using direct observations of the primordial universe. However, this is just the starting point for the JWST mission. Upcoming and future observations will start the transition from the discovery phase to the statistical characterization of the properties of the first quiescent galaxies. And now, it's time to answer one of your questions. This comment comes from Jack Tomlinson, who brings up a very important question about asteroid impact. Jack asks, With the success of the DART mission, do we still have to worry about incoming asteroids more than 1 km wide? That's a great question, Jack. While the success of the DART mission is certainly a huge step in protecting our planet from asteroid impacts, it's not a complete solution. The DART mission was designed to address a specific type of asteroid threat, those that are smaller than one kilometer in size and pose a threat in the near term. However, there are still much larger asteroids out there that could pose a threat in the future. In fact, astronomers estimate that there are still thousands of potentially hazardous asteroids that are larger than one kilometer in size and remain undetected. So while we have made great strides in detecting and mitigating asteroid threats, we still have work to do. We need to continue to search for and track potentially hazardous asteroids and develop new technologies and strategies to protect our planet from their impacts. Thank you for your question, Jack, and for keeping the conversation going. And that wraps up today's video. If you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with family and friends who might be interested. Thank you for watching.